Uh, again, proud of the team. It was a hard win. We had, we had a thought process early in the week that we were just going to try everything we could to get it in the fourth quarter. And uh, didn't know if we could, but uh, that was important part of our style in the first half. Um, defense really hung in there, and we didn't try to take a lot of risk early because last week we did. It kind of burned us, you know, a little bit. So we're a little closer to the second half, got a little bit more aggressive, and didn't manage a few things well, but the uh, kids played hard. It was a good win. Proud of them. Uh, a lot of, you know, a lot of things to improve on. Um, but it was, it, was, it was good for our team. We've been in those games, and we just talked all week about trying to play as hard as we could and, and, and take it down the stretch playing hard and just look at the end, see if it'd be, be enough. And like I said, we're lucky enough it was tonight. A lot of respect for Michigan State. Mark and his team, and so because uh, you got to, you got to, you, you don't beat that team um, if you're not playing kind of okay in all three areas. Because they're, they're 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 a prideful program, with great players and great tradition, and so that that was a good team win for us. You know, we uh, ran it pretty good down the stretch. We stopped some of their run a little bit better. Um, got after had a couple sacks on the quarterbacks and things that helped us. So it was a good win. Happy for the team. Uh, again, you know, what comes first, the confidence or the winning? The more confident you are, the more you win. The more you win, the more confident you are. I also can't take things for granted. And But we talked a lot more this week about not winning game. We just talked about the – really got real simple about the process of taking care of your body and prepping hard and believing yourself and then taking each play and making, a, making each play a one-play play and then stack them up. So we weren't as – for the most part, weren't as, weren't as fast on offense tonight. We tried to slow down a little bit. And, not be as frantic. And like I said, our defense gave up a few things but played well. So uh, we didn't talk a lot about the outcome before the game. We talked about the preparation, and then we talked about how to go play the game, trying to get it in the fourth quarter. And we felt in years past, we got to some of those games, and we didn't think anything was wrong except the other team played a little bit harder and better. So we just asked our guys to. And we didn't talk about making plays. In fact, we said word for word, if you try to make a play, you're not going to. If you'll just play hard, the plays will come. And they, like I say, defensively, those sacks that got them into the that, – that's probably as good a thing that happened to us all night is those sacks that, that got, got them into that long yardage situation. Coach, after all the costly penalties in the first half, you went the entire second half in overtime without another penalty. How were you able to clean that up after halftime? And we did talk to our guys about – at halftime about we were playing as a team. And we had some guys, that we had the same guy with a holding call, almost similar to the week before. We had the same guy jump off sides and that that needed to stop, so, but it's credit to the kids. Um, I did think early, uh, some of those calls were, were kind of a lot going one way, but whatever, I, you know, they happen, they happen. Um, law of averages, the world's average and it evens out. And at the end of the game, there's a call that they, they call a guy for leaping. And I think it shows the, the, the credit of our, of our you know, we're to score, everybody complains when you don't get calls, you always get jacked. I mean, I think human element referees are a part of our game. And typically we're short, we're always pointing fingers and blaming people. We always, I mean, there was a call tonight at the end, that was a good call. And it was, and that, that's the kind of referees we have in our league and the kind of people, and like I say, fortunate for us, it gives us a chance to win the game. But you don't know, you're still gonna play, we're, we're going to go double over time if they don't call that, because we had missed the field goal there, right? So anyway, I didn't know we had no penalties, that's good. Don't know. I mean, we again, all we kept on was playing hard. So maybe at the end we played hard enough that, you know, Nate came off and Doc came off and got some pressure on the queue. Difference in the game. Because it's a pretty even game. But our ability to get to get to fortunately get a field goal that barely went through versus theirs that didn't. Did you say anything to Oaks before that last? No, all we talked about was on third down. If we had a bad snap, we're going to fall on it and we'd kick it again. And, you know, and I said, do we have to take the – yeah, we, did I take the timeout or was that the one before? We took a timeout there, right, because about ran out of time. Was that it? Was that, no, that was the first one. We went to take, we went, same thing happened last week. We'll go up there and it's like we're, we're, we're numb to the 25-second clock. And we actually had to take a timeout, which allowed them to get lined up and get a block on us. So, anyway. Um, I don't know. I think we've been – you know, I don't know if it's stats, right, because they never put on the Big Ten Network, but I think we're the only Big Ten team that's ever beat a ranked SEC team on the road, I think, in the history of the conference. Now, they never put that on the network because it's played on the SEC Network. 
So we're going to watch all those reruns of all the other games. But it's in the history of the conference. So I think our, our, you know, we've had some nice wins, and we've been close. So I don't think our guys have felt like they didn't belong. So that's a pretty calm lock. And they're excited about winning, but it wasn't like um, – I just think they were, they were late at the end of the game, that we played as hard as we could, and we made a couple plays at the end to finish. Because that's all we talked about. Can we get in the fourth quarter and just play hard and see if it's good enough? And tonight it was. It was good. Took a shot on the one play, too. Touchdowns. We had, a, we had a shoot the one. The one play we scored on, uh, Diamont drew up. Then we said, Coach, we need to do this. You know, and, and I even credit him after the game because I, I've seen some teams where guys aren't playing, get dis, disengaged to have. He had his best, Xander had his best week of practice. And Ricky's touchdown was Xander's play. He said, Coach, why don't we consider doing this? Matter of fact, he brought it up and, and interrupted our video session because he wanted to talk about it one more time. And I had to kind of blow him up. I go, Hey, because as soon as he started talking, I said, You just want to talk about your, your play that we called poker. As, as a matter of fact, and uh, so anyway, uh, but that was that was good for Richard. I did have to yell him before his touchdown reception because he was getting a little out of whack like last week. But uh, he's growing. Tonight, the surrounding players and coaches did better for him, and he benefited from everybody else. And then what made you decide to do that poker play at that moment? What, what was it? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We had a couple good ones tonight. We missed a couple. I thought early because we were so conservative in the first half because we didn't want to let it get away. So we are kind of playing close to the vest. And early that one drive was going, I, you know, I, I thought because we ran it, I thought in the T could pop that little pass on him. And I went for it on fourth down, but I thought the defense would stop him. And even though that didn't work, hey, you should have kicked it. Well, you see the way we're kicking field goals. I don't know if that's a guarantee right now. And the uh, thing that bummed me is the defense got to stop and the offense got the ball right back in scoring position and did nothing and actually gave them the ball in good field position. That, that was the only issue I had in our whole game of anything that happened was we made an aggressive deal. We counted on our defense. They came through, and the offense didn't Andy back up. Two more questions. Had Poker and Andy in the same, same deal. So Xander, Xander drew up Ricky's I'm not even touchdown, Poker. Not, not Richard's catch. Excuse, no. Xander drew up Ricky's touchdown. Yeah. Okay. Just, just like a little, you know, we run a bump, and he said, hey, why don't we try to do a little double move off of that? We've had that in. That's just been, yeah. Coach, is there any thought about taking the ball out? Matter of fact, that was actually something that we, I, I said on the first drive I was doing, I said, no, we're going to need it later. Save it. You know what I mean? Because, you know, you know, so you can only go to the well so many times. I'm sorry, Sam. Um, was there any, any thought of taking the ball on offense in overtime? No. Your defense no, no. Matter of fact, because I was mad at the TV guys because they took a break because I brought Marcus Oliver up because he was going to be the guy telling him what to do. And he's sitting there totally, you know, worn out. Um, but where there's enough break with the TV deal, the, the, the deal is, even though they're worn out, um, y you know what to do as an offense no matter what happens. And so, you know, it's four down territory. So you got to go for it four downs. You know, you know, it's, it's field goal wins or, you know, um, you need a field goal to tie. I mean, just, it just changed us. So that's, that's a no-brainer. Yeah, you know, he got a slight knee that held him out a couple weeks in a preseason. So, he's, you know, just kind of getting back. And I tell you, you want his big, big, big tail in there because big old load. You know, he's pushing, you know, upper 270s. But when the game's on, you got a freshman, his first real deal. So it's like, okay, you're sitting there, you know. But my thing was like, hey, I was just going to tr trust your trust your gut. There's some things that happened last week kind of got my attention about, hey, just, just, Quit worrying and let our guys go play. Put, put together a good plan. Quit worrying about the defense. You know, last week, when it's a 12-point game, we had talked, if we don't do something real fast, we'll punt and call timeouts. But mathematically, odds are, if I'd have went for it on third and fourth down, we had a greater chance of winning. Now, the deal is, is your defense going to stop them? And I shared it with the defense. Hey, do I, I, I didn't know if it was the old D or the new D. And I told them tonight I was going to play like the new D. That's why I went for it on fourth and two early. Most people say it's like, hey, I'm going to try to score touchdowns because you need touchdowns in a game like this. And I thought our defense could get stops. I told the kids this halftime, it's the first time since I've been here we were playing as a team. And that was a very good team win. Appreciate you being here.